All right, get ready for some big changes over the next couple days here across South Florida and the Treasure Coast. So for the Treasure Coast, we're seeing temperatures in the mid-70s. South Florida, it's humid and cloudy, but look what happens later today. Impact weather beginning to increase across the area. We're expecting widespread rainfall, heavy downpours, and the chance for a few strong isolated thunderstorms, mostly right around sundown and throughout your overnight hours. Temperatures pretty mild in the 60s to upper 70s, rather low 70s rather. But we are seeing that green coverage just lingering around throughout most of the night tonight. And then we should start to see slightly better conditions heading into your Wednesday. So let me show you. We have the onshore wind. At least for the next couple of hours, we stay dry. But right around 3, 4 o'clock, we should see some isolated action. So a few showers popping up. And then the main event will be right around sundown, 5 all the way through the evening hours and all the way through the overnight hours. So we are looking at heavy downpours indicated in those orange oranges and purples that we're seeing from Palm Beach County. These move offshore eventually. And then for your Wednesday early morning, just some lingering showers left behind. But for the remainder of the day, we're going to dry things out for you. But take a look off to our west of that. Here is our next big cold front. Now, this is the one that's going to drag in some drier and colder air from behind. And that's actually going to be the one really cooling us down for your Christmas weekend. So take a look as we go throughout the next couple days. That cold air pretty much is going to set up over South Florida for Saturday, for Christmas Day, and even the day after. So three days of some very cold weather expected in your neighborhood. So for the Treasure Coast, look for temperatures Christmas Eve morning in the upper 30s, mid 30s inland. So even colder for some spots. And when you factor in the winds, uh, we are looking at a wind chill feeling more like the 20s for the early morning hours. And even for the Palm Beaches, we're going to squeeze out a couple of upper 30s for you. It's going to feel more like the mid 30s very early in the morning. And again, we have two days of very cold weather before we'll start to feel a little bit more like South Florida again, although tomorrow, Wednesday, is the first official day of winter. So humid breezy for today and then rain increasing throughout the evening hours, lasting throughout the overnight. So it is going to be very wet later for your Tuesday. So just make some plans to be indoors or try to limit your time on the roads. It's going to get really busy later today, a big travel day. And then tomorrow we're going to dry things out. Temperatures back into the mid 70s, upper 70s near the coast. Winds out of the east northeast at around 10 to 15. So let me show you that seven day first warning forecast. First official day of winter. It's not going to feel like it just yet. Thursday we still have a chance for some showers. Next cold front will be Friday. That's going to increase rain as we go throughout the day. And then finally drying things out just in time for your Christmas weekend, but take a look. Some of the coldest air of the season. We're expecting Christmas Eve morning, Christmas Eve day. Temperatures just below 60 for the afternoon.